Hello, good morning. On popular demand today, I'm going to make what is very popular rasam. Somebody told me yesterday, not sounding uh, racist as they said, uh, the Tam Bram rasam is the best made rasam. So I'm trying to replicate the typical rasam made in a South Indian family. On a vessel like this, I told you last time, do not place it without water in it. So there is enough water in this. Put it in the stove. Now let's look at the necessary ingredients that rasam would require. Rasam powder, this is made in the market. There is salt, this turmeric powder. I put all the tadka together, that is uh, cumin seeds, mustard seeds, and just three to four fenugreek seeds. That is jeera, rind, and mentulu. The other requirements would be Tamarind. This is the amount of tamarind I've taken. Now again, it's not quantified. It's a handful. I have made a juice out of it. Tamarind water. There is uh, some kutmeel or dhania. There is curry leaves. There's just one chili. A couple of red chilies. I have already pre-cooked this in a microwave. These are cut tomatoes, there is ghee. This is what we would require for making the tomato rasa. First, I take the cut pieces of tomato, put them in this water which is boiling. As this is getting boiled, into the mixie, I'm putting two medium-sized tomatoes which have been pre-microwaved. If you don't have a microwave, all that you need to do is take a kadai, take a little bit, one half a teaspoon of ghee, put the tomatoes into it, close the lid, let it smoke itself, and then after two or three minutes, you can take it out. Now take that, put it in the jar, For those two tomatoes and one cut tomato, I am taking one and a half teaspoon of rasam powder. A tinge of turmeric powder. Turmeric is used as a coloring agent for rasam particularly. Tamarind water squeezed out of about a small bowl of tamarind, this much of tamarind. It doesn't have a quantity. It could be about just this much of tamarind. Squeeze it completely into thin tamarind water of this consistency. One long green chili. A couple of curry leaves. one two spoons of salt now what i'm doing is from the tomatoes there a bit of it is in the jar here so i'm ensuring that that does not go waste that also i wash it and put it into the jar. The idea is first pulse it a little and then get it to a grind. 
at this stage a little bit of heat to the mixture. Now this depends on whether you like hing or not. It's a very cultivated taste. You can add hing. At this stage, I must also tell you that you have two other alternatives. You can also add some ginger and garlic if you are interested. You can put both of them into the rasam. Mix it well. And now add it to this boiling tomato water. As the mixture is getting boiled, take the water remains of cooked tuwar dal. It's just the water, not the dal. You can see this is just water, about 30 ml of water or even less than 30 ml of water. Pour it into the boiling mixture. get the rasam to a boil. The consistency of the rasam must be quite liquidish. You will notice that it is not at the present state. So what you will do is add a lot more water into it to ensure that the consistency turns very liquidish. This should be the consistency. It should be as liquid as say tea or coffee, green tea, or, or a little less consistent than green tea, as you would see over here. Uh, as I told you, the rasam is boiled. I have all the tarka together, that is fenugreek seeds, mustard seeds and jeera seeds or cumin seeds and putting them in ghee I've taken about one teaspoon of each and I've not used all of it so about half a teaspoon of each two red chilies Again, about four to five, or even more, about seven of uh, curry leaves. As the ghee heats up, again add a little bit of hing. At this stage, you can also add garlic cloves. Done. Now put it on the rasam. Put it into this vessel. This shows that it is well heated. I'm not just being miserly and housewifely. The smoked taste adds to the taste of the rasam. So ensure you do this when the vessel is hot. After this is done. Take a little bit of cut coriander and dress the rasam. The rasam is now ready to serve.